Hello YouTube, welcome to the Knife Sharpener Mod. We showed you these parts in the last video that we've got. And we've determined that from the center of this hole to the center of this rod is 11 16 So we got our heim joint on it. This is our quarter inch rod. We'll show you later how we got that in there. We're going to start the video out with this. See where I got me a Sharpie marker on there where I'm looking at? I don't know if you can see that little line. See where I got double lines? We're just going to go in the middle. Because we just set our calipers whatever way. There, that's better. Of course, they weren't that wide. Of course. I think you know what I mean. We just set them and we come up off the side over here. As level as we could. And we made a scratch line, the other line. We have a two lines. We just going to split the difference and go in the middle. We know that's the middle of it. This is just wide enough to drill a hole. Okay. The hole we're going to drill is with a 9 30 seconds drill bit. I made up to put that in the description. So you may be back if you want to do this someday. You're going to have to watch the video. So That's what we determined is close to this rod. Because this is like a 7 millimeter oddball rod. Okay. You know the object is to drill down here. This will slide down the rod. We have a set screw, Allen screw that goes in this end. It locks in. We want to slide this piece up and down. I'm getting too close. So, I think we're all on the same page here what I'm talking about. I don't want to keep repeating myself. That does get boring when someone does that. Okay, we're going to center punch that with our automatic center punch. And we will be back. Boy, that's dull. We're going to have to sharpen that thing. We must have dulled it on something. See that? Good thing to look at my tools. We must have dulled that on something one day. Too hard to steal. We'll be back. Uh, we'll center punch it with either that or a regular one. And after the hole's drilled, and we'll have it slid down on the rod, and that'll be it. Besides showing you how I put this together. So that'll just be it for this simple mod. Uh, is explain how I got this rod to fit in here, get the hole drilled, and getting this set up. So stay tuned. Sixteenth of an inch pilot hole. Don't think that wasn't scary On a big giant drill press We did it. We've done it before. I Really like this drill press. It's really accurate Okay, this little piece is done. We got more swing than we thought. Let's get back away from the camera this is not an original idea. There's a video out there of somebody doing this on a cheaper sharpener. But believe me, I thought of it in my mind before I started searching YouTube. And this is the precision one. It has a self-lubricating like Teflon liner in it. So I didn't want to get it hot. And what I did was, I said I was going to have 930 seconds hole. Let's see if this will focus. 930 seconds, okay. We stopped at a 1764. We took our Dremel bit and then run the bit through it to make sure. Because you go down there to 7 millimeters, you want to know the math. See what that's 275 thousandths. You go up here to 930 seconds is 281 thousandths. So we're we're in the we're not a machinist. Okay, so if you want to pause on that, we're not gonna take a picture of this chart. This is out of some old book. Okay. We're not a machinist. I mean, this hole does not have to be that critical. You're tightening up with the Allen screw. So we'll go ahead and pause. We'll take that off. We'll get you up close to this part so you can see exactly what it looks like. Okay, excuse my dirty hands. I have been working. I mean, it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be. Like I said, I don't have that great of a drill press vise. I start out with a 16th of an inch drill bit. You can do this. Worked my way up to a couple different sizes. I can't tell you, maybe like up to 3 16 Went to the other one, and see how that's got that look to it? It is way better than this one. That's the difference between a $5 one and a $3. This one's really floppy. You can almost tell I'm flopping around on the camera like that. See? But it'll work. I mean, it's not that critical. Put a little, it's not that critical. I just wanted the best I could get. And there's your Allen screw, which we'll have to have a wrench for it. We may make some kind of knob. Uh, we may make some kind of little uh, 
knob or something on here, but I don't mind using the wrench. I mean, you're adjusting it for each knife, but there you go on that part, okay? Like I said, this, if I can get it on something, is a lot stiffer. This feels a lot different than this one, but use either one, whatever you can buy. This one's really floppy. See that? We didn't, we didn't want to use that, but we'll use it on another project. So there you go on that. We'll pause, we'll take a breather, and we'll show you how we got this put together, okay? And then we'll snap a picture like the exploded view of the little brass gym. This will be epoxy. This nut will be epoxy on it just for strength because it's tapped in there with a hammer. You have to pull it up pretty good. I have marks with the vice grips out or I had to clean up or I had to yank this back out of here when I pounded it in there with a hammer. And I didn't pound it real hard either. So stay tuned. We'll show you that part. Okay, this is all I did. This is made from a shell casing. It's made from a 38 special. And I use these to cut holes in paper gaskets. Well, I can't tell you how many thousands thickness it is. You probably could get away with taking some uh, aluminum off a of pop can and rolling it around. But this is already round and I kept squeezing with the vice grips making it rounder. So all it is is just stuck in here, which will be, which will be epoxied, okay? This nut, I drilled out the threads. Uh, this is just whatever the nut that was fitting on them. I cannot tell you the size. I mean, you'll know if you have one of these or what, because it is a metric nut. And that just goes in here. There's some marks from the hacksaw because I cut this brass off. So, we're going to epoxy that in there like that. Now, that's not pounding there tight. And then we're going to put this nut on here and epoxy it. And we've got it ground down here. You know, roughed up with rough sandpaper. And it takes a little bit to get it on there. So, that'll be epoxy. So there you go. That's about it to this mod. Uh, it was kind of simple. It was scary drilling that heim joint because I don't, like I said, I don't have the greatest drill press bias, even though my drill press uh, will drill with a 16 inch drill bit. We'll come up here again. We'll put this in here. And there you go. We'll have this rod lube. If you see a spiral on here, that's how they draw this steel out. Because it's been polished with 1200 grit sandpaper. So this can rust. It will always be oiled. So a lot better. Don't have all that slop. I mean, you when you're moving it, you're moving the little piece in there. So there's not really, there's a slight amount of play. But it's a lot better than this. I think I reviewed my video. I called this, this hokey thing. There, hokey. That's a hick word. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video on how I modified this.